Hey guys, back here with Tua for another video. Update pup date time, week 25. If you are new to this channel, I do this style video every Sunday on my Bull Mastiff puppy Tua here. Not only for myself to look back on throughout his life, but also for potential future Bull Mastiff owners. If you guys have questions on what to expect, this is going to be a great log of information for you guys to look back on at very specific ages. Like I said, I do these every week, so you're going to know at least what he went through with all kinds of different things um, all throughout their life and as they're growing. So go ahead, check out all the videos if you haven't already. I update you guys on all sorts of things, such as when he was losing teeth, um, his training abilities, shedding, drooling, all kinds of stuff. And like I said, I do these every week. So go ahead, check them out. Or if you're a current bull mastiff owner as well, if uh, you have a puppy that's behind his age, uh, you might know what to expect at certain ages. Go ahead and check them out. So for all the regular viewers or anybody that uh, watched last week's video, you know that the big thing from this week was we did a nine hour road trip down to Kansas City. Uh, we went and visited some family and we took Tua with us along with our two kids and our miniature pincher. So it was a lot of people in the, in the van on the way down and I was a little bit nervous for it, but I figured it would go okay. And it actually went better than I expected it to go. Um, like I said, it was about a nine hour trip. So we stopped about three times on the way down and three times on the way back, all about three hours a piece or three hours apart. Um, and basically how we had the van set up was we had his kennel door open and pushed up against the two bucket seats in the back. So he kind of was able to go back and forth from his kennel to just laying on the car floor, whatever he wanted to do. And honestly, guys, most of the time he pushed himself up as close as he could get to my wife and I in the front seats and just laid there or he'd kind of sit up and just try and look out the window or kind of lay his head on our on our lap trying to anyway but he for the most part pretty much just slept the whole trip guys it was very easy um we'd get him out on his long leash when we'd get to a truck stop or something to get him a bathroom break and gave him some water on the middle stop both times there and back um really simple really easy i was pretty surprised it it went good so that's really good. Um, while we were in Kansas City, he shared a house for two days with six new people that he didn't know and a new dog, a giant schnauzer. They were about the exact same size, I would say. Um, I believe she was five years old. And uh, she's a pretty intense dog, really good dog, uh, really, really well trained. And uh, she was definitely like the alpha in that situation. And Tua just pretty much let her run the show, and it went really good. They got they got along great, did a lot of playing together. Um, we got into some parks when we were in Kansas City as well. Um, so lots of new things for him to experience this last week. So it was a really good week as far as socialization went. And I'm going to go ahead and just play a, a couple minutes of stuff here for you guys to see from our trip. And uh, then I'll get into weight and drooling and all that other stuff that I touch on every week. So go ahead and enjoy this for a couple minutes.
Okay guys, so that was our Kansas City trip in a nutshell. Now I'll go ahead and get into the stuff that I update you guys on every week, starting with weight. So last week he was 76 pounds, and this week he's 78. So that's another small increase in weight. So that's the third consecutive week where it's been three pounds or less. I believe it was a two pound gain, a three pound gain, and now another two pound gain. So that's kind of interesting. It's definitely a trend. That growth is starting to slow down. If you're regular viewers of this channel, you'll know that it almost became an ongoing joke that he was going to hit that four pounds every single week. And he did for, I don't even remember how many weeks, probably like 10 straight weeks almost where it was four pounds a week. Now these last three, a two, a three, and a two. So his growth is definitely slowing down. So I guess maybe start expecting that, guys, if you have a bull mastiff around that this week's 25, so probably around week 22, if they're all the same. I mean, that's just two of, but who knows? Uh, but definitely something to make note of. The growth is slowing down. Drooling is another thing I update you guys on every week. There's no change in that. Uh, he, he's not a drooler at all unless he's waiting for his food and I make him wait, you know, for several minutes or just immediately after he drinks his water. Um, and that's it and not a big deal. I just wipe his mouth after he's done eating every time anyway So it doesn't really matter to me um, But not a drooler at all besides that So we'll go ahead and see if that changes like I say every week But I I really am not really anticipating that to change anytime soon with just kind of how it's been um, But bull mastiffs are definitely known as droolers. So that's why I update you guys every week on that Barking is also something that I update you guys on every single week and he's not much of a barker unless he's playing with the other dogs, particularly our Minpin Roxy. Now, when we were visiting family this weekend and he got kind of playful with their dog, um, he did do some barks, but nothing crazy. He's definitely not a dog that sits out in the backyard and just barks for hours on end or anything. But he will bark at some sounds and stuff in the distance. Um, if other dogs bark at him, though, if we're on walks or anything like that, he definitely does not bark back. So just kind of during play. Um, one thing kind of related to barking that I, I will tell you guys about is he definitely this week is noticeably more alert and more edgy, I guess I would describe it as. Whenever we're outside, he seems to always have his ears kind of perked up. And he's definitely listening more to sounds and things like that. And he'll do that under his breath bark a lot. And just overall, like that guarding instinct seems to seems to be um, starting to kick up a little bit more with that alertness and edginess. Energy is also something that I update you guys on every week. So for the last, I want to say four or five weeks, I've told you guys that it's been very up and down. He'll have one day where it's crazy energy and you can't really do anything to stop it no matter how much we play or take him for walks and stuff like that. And then the next day he'll just pretty much sleep all day. This week was very similar to that again. But I will say that overall the energy was up more than the last several weeks. And when the energy was up, especially like his zoomies and stuff, they were a lot more intense. He had a little zoomie outburst this week where he did something that I'd never seen him do. He was just spinning like a top for about... 30 seconds to a minute. I mean, just crazy. He sprinted down uh, into our basement and then literally just spun, 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 going, just going bananas. And I've never seen him do that. And when he was done, he just had this crazy look in his eye, kind of stared at me and my wife, panting heavily. And uh, that was it. Then he just curled up in a ball and went to sleep. And we were just laughing at him the whole time. I really w tried to get it on camera. I was getting my phone out of my pocket. And by the time... Uh, by the time I did, it was already over, so it was pretty short-lived. But, uh, yeah, crazy experience. Never seen him do that before. And then lastly, another thing that I touch on every week is socialization. And I guess I kind of already hit that when I told you about our road trip, and he was spending time with uh, a bunch of new people and uh, another new dog, and it went really good. Um, so we got a lot of socialization in this last week. Uh, as usual, if there's anything else that you guys want me to update you on, other than the stuff that I already do, go ahead and let me know. Otherwise, that's pretty much all I have for you guys on this week's uh, update, week 25. So as usual, take care.